So let's talk a little bit about Sarah Dunant and the birth of Venus. I don't know if you want to talk about the book and or what you heard today. She she really, um, well, she did her research, we'll say that. Uh, getting, getting a history degree from Cambridge, I mean, she probably had a pretty good background in terms of historiography. And it was a part of the history, I mean, as a history major, I hadn't been exposed to. I do know my stuff, right? <laughs> I've done the work. But the fact is, I am not faking the fact that it's really interesting. In the character of Alessandro, watching kind of the evolution of her thought and the way that she deals with a lot of the pertinent issues of the time. You, you can't make it a success story. You can't reimagine the past and say, actually, girls, we were really okay. You know, mm -hmm. underneath we had a wonderful life despite mm -hmm. the, the repression. You, ha you have to accept that it probably wasn't okay. Uh, it was fascinating. It was fascinating. Uh, the evolution of her thoughts on sexuality. Um, particularly homosexuality, you know, having having a relationship with a husband who was a homosexual, having to come to terms with that with a very religious background in the midst of Savonarola, this almost reformation like figure. It was it, it was a lot to deal with, but she she did a very good job. It hung together nicely. So it's neither triumph nor victimhood, but it's something more subtle and in between.